Now, are you bringing a copy of the Xactimate? Are you putting together an Xactimate before you go? Okay. Um, I think so. Uh, Justin is the only one. Well, Trevor can do them too because he was an adjuster. Yeah. But we don't do Xactimates, I don't think, until it's like approved. Okay. So. Here's what I really recommend. And maybe it's simply at this point not a habit at your company yet, simply because when you're a business owner in this industry, you're typically wearing many hats. So I'm sure you see Justin running around ragged, doing everything, helping you, helping Trevor, helping the production, helping the administrator. He's going on appointments. He's calling adjusters. He's sending supplements. He's doing accounting. Too much shit. Okay. So when that happens, it's like ugh, the last thing you want to do is sit down and try to teach somebody a kind of complex software such as Xactimate because it's once you get the hang of it it's not hard to do the basics but even to get to that point it's like it's kind of a challenge and it's very time consuming and that's not what his time is best been doing so I would guess and this is speculation but I'm guessing that some of the he would like for you guys to all be doing Xactimates before you go but he also doesn't want to have to teach you all how to do that would you agree probably so right he, he probably wouldn't. He would probably rather do it himself and make sure it's done right one time. Sure. Instead of like say, teaching us how to do it, we might not get it. Mm -hmm. We got to do it, mess it up. He's yeah. got to fix it. You know that kind of deal. Let me pause you there for a second and ask you a kind of off the wall question a little bit. If you could have an online course that would teach you, you could sit at your computer and in a few hours learn exactly how to do Xactimate. Would you choose to do that, or would you rather travel somewhere? to go to a live class and do it? Mm, if it's like a thing like this where I'm, or just like a, a like PowerPoint. On, like online course, you go and you watch a video and it's like, here's how you're going to do everything. Step by step. Um, Next. Here's what you're going to do. Next. Either way. I mean, I took, uh, I, I got my life and health license insurance okay. and property and casualty. And I did property and casualty online and life and health went to a classroom and I, I felt like I learned more in the classroom than online. Yeah. But with something like Xactimate, a program, a software, um, I think it wouldn't matter. Okay. Um, online would be fine. And if you could go back to it, like you could go back to a video and be like, ah, shoot. That's what I think about mm -hmm. live classes is like, it's great while you're there, but when you leave, you leave. And then it's like, right. you've got your notes that most of them don't even make sense anymore. And you're like, shoot, how do I do that? So I, the reason I bring that up is I'm actually working with, there's a gal named Alina Wilson, and she is one of only 19 certified Xactimate trainers in the nation. However, Xactimate training typically, when Xactimate covers everything. It's not just roofing, siding, gutters. We feel like it's that way because that's what we see every day. But Xactimate is for water damage, painting, drywall, flooring, fencing, you name it. I mean, everything's in there. Appliances, whatever. It's for total estimating, right? The problem is when you're a storm restoration contractor, you have very specific needs when you're learning Xactimate. Like you're doing specific things over and over and over that you need that software to do. So for people to go and do like the Xactimate classes, yeah, you're going to get some stuff out of it, but the large majority of that material that they teach you, the curriculum is completely irrelevant to you. So it's like they're filling your mind with all this data when really you only needed this much of it. So mm -hmm. Alina, most Xactimate trainers are teaching adjusters how to use it because adjusters don't have an option. They have to use Xactimate. Like it is their job, right? Well, who's training the contractors? Very few people. So she's actually, cre I'm helping her create, we're kind of co-creating. She's doing all the technical training, but she's creating an online course that's like, teaching you how to master Xactimate from the very basics to the mastering the macros and the sketches and the line items that people miss that they can add in and stuff like that. Anyways, so I brought, I was bringing that up because I'm like, this is a perfect example right now of you guys should really know it because I'm telling you right now, Matt, that's like when you can, when you can bring an Xactimate to the table, you're bringing the same language that the adjuster is speaking. So you can't show up and say, this roof's going to be $11,200 because they go, I don't give a shit. It's this 18 line items, right? So it's kind of like speaking the same language. 
And so the whole reason I'm gonna, kind of going around this whole point is what I do recommend um, if you guys learn it or maybe when her course is out, maybe Justin will even get it for you guys. I, it would be a smart move to do. But you'll be able to actually create your own Xactimate and meet the adjuster on site with it and then kind of compare apples to apples. And that's where you heard me in my little spiel that I talked to you about, here's what I say to the adjuster. Now mm -hmm. you see how that's really valuable because you can get more things approved on site with that in, like here's my exact thing. And I'll tell you this too, a lot of adjusters, they'll act like they don't want your Xactimate copy, but they take it and here's why. They're doing like six to 10 claims a day, right? Each of those claims has an hour to two hours of paperwork at the end of it. So when you're doing that many and you're working seven days a week, it's like if you show up and you've got the Xactimate done, the Eagle View printed, and the copy that you've got everything done for them and you hand it to them with a bow on it, these guys will sometimes pretend like they're not going to look at it. But when you get the paperwork back from them and it matches your estimate exactly, you know that they looked at it and took it from you. So the benefit there is if they copy yours, you don't have to worry about mismeasurement discrepancies. You don't have to worry. They'll put things on there that they initially would not have put on there because they're just copying yours. You see what I'm saying? So it just gives you a little edge from the get go that you don't have to backward paddle to try to fix and bring up to speed later. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what yep. I recommend. I would always, I call, yeah. And I call it the adjuster packet in my course, but I, basically what that entails is the copy of the Xactimate, um, a copy of the diagram and or the Eagle view, whatever, however you do it, a copy of the agreement with the homeowner. And then I just staple my business card on top and I'm like, dur, 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 here you go. It's perfect. <laughs> I already did it. And uh, sometimes they won't take it. That's whatever. But um, that's a great way to just kind of hedge your bets and just get a little bit ahead.